Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've, I've had two questions today about printing versus engraving, which is my normal question. So I'm going to try to help this person. They're going to print this on vinyl. Let me see how big, big a, how big this leaf is. So let's make our nudge factor six inches, and let's grab this and move it out of the way. Now, he's got an outline around it already. It's in a funny, not a red. Of course, he's a printer, so I don't know. So we're gonna go to object and group and ungroup, and then take that and try to nudge it out of the way and it worked. Now, immediately I saw that there's some objects in here that these two are enclosed, so I can't get to it, but why it couldn't get to there. So that might be his problem. And let's look a little closer. And if we select it, there's something yellow there. Uh, you can't hardly even see it. Uh, let's do the color, yellow color box. Probably shouldn't have used yellow, but it's actually a whitish color, an off-white. So, and there's actually a piece right there that you could make and make your leap better. Uh, I know nothing about printing something like this, but you need to get rid of that first. And you could actually probably expand this box and check the whole, the whole thing. See, there's some white right there in between the leaves. I don't know what that's supposed to be. You know, that might be part of the leaves, but these aren't. So I don't know how detailed you're gonna cut it. You know, the, I don't know about that, but you need to get rid of all that stuff. See, like right there, there's some garbage. And there's actually an outline. So let's say we have it ready. Let's move our yellow out of the way. And this is still ungrouped together, so it'll work good. Go up to the boundary tool and make a boundary. Nudge the boundary out of the way. Now, we've got some parts that are going to, um, you want to, I'm guessing he's going to want to cut those. So let's take the smart fill tool and fill that in and nudge it over and fill that in and nudge it over. Anything that it could not get to, it'll work. Let me silence my phone real quick. So we need to take those two parts and left click, right click, left click, right click. And I know nothing about printing. Uh, this is kind of jagged, uh, but since it's a picture uh, and it's printing, I guess that's uh, kosher, second one today. There's actually another couple of parts that we could do. I don't know if he's gonna need to cut like that out or that out but it's gonna be the same result as what we're gonna do in just a second. So now you have an outline, and let's just don't worry about those parts right now. And I've got a red outline, and he wants, he wants some border on this, so when he does cut it, I don't know what kind of machine he's got to cut, but he wants some excess. He didn't really say how much, but we're going to go up to effects and we're gonna to go to contour, and we're gonna to contour to the outside 0 0.05. Well, we need to go to the outside in rounded corners, so it'll be a little bit smoother. And then you ha now you have a contour. Let's go up to object and break that contour apart. Try to grab the contour and see the contours in red, so we now have a red one. Now these two parts, if you're gonna cut them out, and you want to do the same thing, you would contour to the inside and hit apply. That would give you the equal amount of part. Go to object, break the contour bar, and grab that little part and put it over there. Same thing on here. Once you've got it set, it's easy. Contour, grab that center. Now you've got some background, and we can delete all this, and now take this and nudge it over and there's your contour that gives you a little bit of um, buffer. Now, like I said, there's still some parts that you could have done, probably 
three more. I just don't know, you know, how he's cutting this. I would think any kind of machine, this would be too rough. And that's neither here nor there. I don't know anything about printing and cutting on vinyl. Sometimes I wish I could because it would be pretty cool. Anyway, I hope I answered his question. Uh, this one right here would be super easy. Uh, let's just do it real quick. But see all the different colors that that's made out of? And that's cool itself. But let's go to ungroup this and try to grab that outside color and nudge it over and it worked. So you already kind of got the, the contour. We'll contour it over. That's what you did. Now we're going to go to the outside 0 0.05, go up to object, break contour apart, and if grab the black one and move it down and take the red one and move it up. So that was an easy one. I'm hoping that's what he was asking, and thank you for watching.